Hey, what's going on everybody? Isaac Okasen here with Civil Engineering Academy coming at you again with another quick tip. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how long it takes to get those civil PE results after you take the exam. And maybe a couple tips after that. So stick around and let's talk about it. All right guys, so today we're gonna talk about how long it takes to get the civil PE exam results back. Um, this one's kind of a nail biter and it takes a long time. For those that took the FE exam, you know that it's computer based and it usually takes, you know, a few days, seven days or so to get your results back. But if you take the PE exam, you have to wait a lot longer. And the actual wait time for that is listed on the NCEES website is that it takes eight to 10 weeks to get your results, depending on which state you're at and uh, you know your own individual board of professional licensing. They also talk about how those results are administered uh, depending on your state. So some states do, I guess, still mail out something in the mail that tells you that you've passed or failed. Although I don't know of any, if you know of any, let me know. But most uh, states are going to um, issue your results on your NCES dashboard. So all you do is log in there and you will uh, check out your results for the first time. So um, it's a bit of a nail biter, but hey, you know what? If you didn't pass this time or whatever time you're taking it, don't get your head down. Um, just get back right back up on it and get back on this the study path and you will have success eventually. So it doesn't mean you're a bad engineer if you failed the first time. Um, you just get right back on the horse and start studying for the exam. So um, I really uh, wanted to jump on real quick and just flip the screen around and maybe we'll take a look at the NCES website and um, show you a couple things. So let's do that real quick. All right, so we've gone ahead and turned this around. I've just jumped at the uh, jumped on nces.org. This is where you're going to go to find out your results. But obviously, if you want to know what your licensing board issues to you or how they do it, you're going to go to the home page, go check out the engineering tab. Um, I'm in Utah, so I'm just going to go select that. So if you select Utah as your region, you're going to put in here uh, what exam you took. So I took the PE exam. And let's say I took it in Geotech. So it's gonna have this drop down and this is for every single state in the union. And uh, you just select which exam. It's gonna tell you here's your board and what it requires, what it doesn't require and all, all, the, all this extra information that you wanna know about. Um, one of the things that has here as you scroll down is what the fees and sites are, so where you can take those. Uh, the PE is 375 bucks now, ouch. And then uh, your exam results, this is what you care about. So under your own licensing board, this says when results have been released to the board, typically eight to 10 weeks after the exam and validated, the NCES will send an email informing you of your exam results and that they can be accessed through your MyNCES account. All result, results are reported as pass or fail. If you do fail the exam, you will receive a diagnostic report showing your performance for each of the major topics covered on the exam. You will not receive a diagnostic report if you pass the exam. So this is kind of a bummer for some people just because they wanna know uh, how well they did. But truth is you'll never know. All you do is get a, is a pass, which is all you really care about. If you do fail, it does tell you, uh, it gives you a little bit of a diagnostic report and tells you the areas that you need to improve. Um, it does show you the numbers um, as compared to others that took the exam. So you'll know you'll need to, to boost your study in, in some certain areas. So anyway, I just wanted to show this to you. It gives you all the contacts for the information under your licensing board. So if you haven't checked that out yet, definitely go check out uh, the engineering tab on the website. Go click your state, and then as you drill down, make sure you go read about how the exam results are administered for your particular location. I'm kind of curious. Let's just go click on, uh, I don't know. Let's go click on Idaho here. And let's go to PE exam and do the same thing, geotech. If I go look at results for Idaho, it says the exact same thing, same thing. So I don't know if this really changes among states, but I guess it can uh, in the um, 
in the NCES description of how they score these, it does say that uh, depending on your state, they can still mail them out. So anyway, worth checking on. Imagine everything's electronic and through your My NCES account. So definitely go check that out. I just wanted to show that to you real quick. All right, so we uh, checked that out. Now you know how to go and see your individual state's uh, you know, procedures for uh, how you pass and how they administer the results to you. So make sure you're familiar with those and go check them out. So after you get the results, if you do pass, then what? What's the next step? Well, um, obviously you want to get that on your resume, you know. Uh, that's a big key to getting raises and moving higher and higher in your career. So once you've get uh, once you've received your PE license, you'll definitely want to bring that up with your boss or hiring manager. Uh, maybe that was a milestone that you needed to achieve. A lot of companies, um, especially consultants, will give you some sort of raise or compensation for getting that license under the belt. Um, but a lot of companies actually do not give you any sort of uh, bonus. Where this does help you in the long run, it's a, it's a long run game here. And this is going to help you for the rest of your career. So as soon as you get that license and you put it on your resume, now the doors open up to virtually uh, anything you want to do in within civil engineering. Uh, you're much more marketable. Uh, people will recognize you. Your PE license much more is much more valuable, I think, than getting a master's degree in, in civil engineering because of a hiring manager has the choice between someone with a master's with no PE or someone with a PE. They're always going to go with someone that has the PE license because um, as, a, as a consultant, uh, you're as good as the employees that you hire. That's what you're selling. So anyway, it's just an awesome thing to get. It's, it's, it's great for your career. Uh, definitely try to push for a raise if you can make it as part of your goals, your annual goals for your company. Um, but if, if your company's not one to give you a raise immediately, just know that uh, as this as part of your resume, you can either move up within the company uh, or you can uh, it opens the doors to look around. So those are the uh, that's the advice I have on, on career stuff as you get your PE. So the raises do come, your income does get higher, but it's it's a time kind of game and a marketability type type of game. So anyway, that's my two cents on that. Um, so hopefully this helped you out. We talked about uh, the time it takes to wait for your results. Uh, kind of what you need to check out for your own individual state's division of professional licensing. And we kind of navigated the NCES website for to show you that. So uh, anyway, go get that raise now. You got the you got the pass. I know you can do it. Uh, and if you didn't, don't don't uh, get your head down too too low. Uh, you can do it. Just keep on plugging away at it. Anyway, I hope this helped you out, and we will see you in the next one. See ya.